here we've just entered the um, sacred Swami Shivananda and it's an absolute um, beautiful piece of uh, history where people still come to study and practice. It's an absolutely gorgeous experience, everything from the writings on the walls to all of the beautiful gardens that are growing, the architecture, and everything is just coming into the green now of the season. You can see the Ganga and the temples. Let me just take a little picture here now of, uh, of the beautiful view of Ganga. This is a bit of a private quarter, so I'm moving a little bit quicker through the gardens because I haven't really asked permission from anybody to come into their private space. But let's just go slow now and see this incredible experience. I'll go a little bit quicker up the stairs just so that we can get to the beauty of everything. Namaste, Gee. Namaste, dear. Of course, there's always so many beautiful people to say hello to. Good afternoon to. All of the beautiful texts on the wall and um, all of the messages from all of the swamis and gurus from over time are quite touching. I will be posting those in a separate video so anybody wanting to take a look at some of the ideas expressed by these great gurus and swamis. Uh, will be available to you if you're interested in, in understanding, reading. It's good for all religions of the world. No matter what you adhere to, the texts, the messages are all quite incredible. In the background, you can hear the chanting of uh, Shiva 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 Shambo. Shiva 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 Shambo. Shiva 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 Shambo. Shiva 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 Shambo. We come to be kind and passionate. I'm hoping that you will be able to maybe pause and read all of the messages 
on this beautiful pillar that talks about all of the religions of the world, world peace, how holy all of our scriptures are no matter what part of the world, what heritage, what religion you follow. Seek, find, enter, rest in God. Be good, do good. And again, on these posts are some absolutely gorgeous messages. Just remind us how to choose different paths of living, behaving. And then we come here to the Shivananda pillar erected out of the Magnus donation in honor of Sir Swami Shivananda G. Maharaj, serve love, meditate, realize so many of us are practicing this lifestyle, trying to find a more peaceful way of being as we rid ourselves of the internal struggles of life. And it's all just so very easy. We can just detach from the mind and the clutter of the thoughts and everything that we think life is supposed to be in our ego. The ego does serve us because the ego does help us understand what our service to the world is in this lifetime. So the ego is not a horrible thing, but it's what the mind does with the ego. When we start to seek power, prestige, titles, when we start to believe that we deserve, that the world should be giving to us in any way, shape, or form. Leave so much room for resentment, to anger, rage, a place where we don't believe we need to forgive anything or anyone, it just creates more and more hostility, this beautiful world that we're living in. And I'm no different from any of you that have suffered from all of that internal pain and struggle, confusion, the blame, shame, resent. All of that is just a game. It's just an illusion to keep us all stuck. Stuck in those patterns of behavior and keeping us basically detached from what we know internally godly and how to behave and live and love one another. In that distraction, we don't have to take the higher road and work harder at life. It's so much easier to stay stuck in all of that horrid stuff. In the moment, it's easier, but over time, the pain that it creates, the need, the lust of life for things to connect and cling to. And when none of that works, we often turn to our addictive patterns of behavior, being addicted to people, places, things, being addicted to substances, shopping, gambling, sex, addictions, addictions, addictions. And if not addictions, at least overuse patterns and self-justification. Well, this is what I deserve. So please, if you have a chance today to um, pause on that pillar in the video, take a moment and read the wonderful messages and maybe something, maybe something will resonate with you today that can take you from the pain of your soul, the sorrow of your life to the joy, the absolute joy. Maybe they'll help give you some of the answers that I found here while visiting in Rishikesh. Let it plant a seed for you, if you will. That's my hope for you. That's my hope for myself, is to find the peace that we all so badly crave, the quiet of the mind. Namaste, dear people, dear friends.